go fourth grade. This task is um, a pretty epic task. Um, it's going to be challenging, but I think you guys can accomplish it. I'm going to give you multiple days to do this. Um, what we're looking at is uh, this is going to be called the Appalachian Region Travel Brochure. And we're, we're going to be using the GRASPS model we, with a goal, a role, an audience, situation, product, and standards. And as you can see, if we look down through this, um, the goal is to produce a brochure to inform and commercial to persuade. So we're actually doing two different elements to this. Um, the commercial will go inside of your brochure um, via via a QR code, um, or you can include the link, however you would like to do it. Um, your role is the author. You're going to be producing this. You're going to be doing this by yourself. Okay, This is a self um, task. You are actually have a, a unique audience in this situation because you're going to be sharing this with fourth graders from the Piedmont Plateau region. Um, we're going to actually mail these and send these to them. Um, and they're going to actually send some to us about the Piedmont Plateau. So we're going to kind of learn about each other's regions from from each other. And the situation is these are the different items that you must include in your brochure. You can see that you have identified natural and human-made features. Some examples of this might be mountains and rivers and factories and things like that um, that are either human or natural-made. I, I encourage you to include multiple examples, maybe three to four examples in order to get that meets to exceeds um, for each, each, each part of the rubric as we move through. Down here, you can see the geographical elements and landforms include maps and major cities. Okay, so maps and major cities, again, like three or four would probably be um, the best way to go here to meet the expectation, however you can go above. Then we have describe attractions such as um, landmarks, parks, stadiums, um, whatever you think attracts people to the Appalachian region. Now it doesn't need to be just in our county, it can be within the whole region itself. So Wisp, Wisp Resort is something that I think of here. Um, I want you to include a list of the wildlife one might see if they were to come to the Appalachian region. Okay, uh, then I want to get into a little brief explanation about the alternative forms of energy in the Appalachian region. Solar, wind, gas, etc. Um, there's two websites for you to look into. You're going need to need to do some research on your own. This is going to help you um, include this in your brochure. I want you to do a little bit of research into the living cost, okay? Um, for that, for the general area, um, you could just basically look up the average annual income um, there. You could also look into the entertainment and recreation that goes about that uh, takes place in that count in our um, Appalachian region. And of course, interesting facts. I know you guys like to include some fun facts here and there, so that's not a bad idea. Um, and then additional, any additional pieces of information such as pictures, graphics, or anything else that you come up with. Um, I think utilizing Google Earth or Google Maps to find some cool images of um, those, those landmarks and stadiums, that would be really neat to include, um, especially if, say, you can see a factory um, from from a view of up above in space that that would be pretty cool as well having a board bird's eye view looking down and then last we want to make sure that we include a green screen commercial you're going to persuade people to visit the Appalachian Appalachian region this commercial uh, should be pretty short roughly roughly 45 seconds to a minute your final product is going to be a travel brochure for the Appalachian region and the standards we're, we're addressing here are, are, are our science standard, our social study standard, writing, and reading. So it's definitely a, a task that includes a lot of um, components to it. Again, we're going to be making this brochure in pages, so I'm going to show you now how to do that. Here you can see the different, um, different parts of the rubric. And if I go down here and I get into pages, remember I go to Launchpad. 
Um, and I click in, and look for the pages. Here it is. Open that. Once I get into pages, I'm going to scroll down to miscellaneous. Okay, we can have these are just different examples of pages, um, applications, and and templates that we can fill in. We have all basic reports, stationery, resumes, flyers and posters, cards, certificates, newsletters, and miscellaneous is the last one. If we go down to miscellaneous, you can see we have two examples of brochures. We have elegant brochure and museum brochure. You can use either one. I'm going to click that. Open it up. And as you can see, um, Apple kind of already filled in some information here, but we're going to actually switch all that around to make it appropriate for our task. And then you can see it's a two page brochure like this. Um, and then we're going to print it out and kind of fold them and put them together. So here, you can see we have a title here and we can, we can mess around with the text format, um, the arrange, the, the order of everything. So if I want to change this and I want to say Appalachian region, I can change it to that. I want to change the style. So I want to change the color. Okay, I can change the, the, the background fill color. Um, there is an undo button, so if I'm up here and I want to undo what I did, just push edit, undo, edit, undo. Or if I think, oh, I want to go back to it, I could do a redo. Um, we also have different ways to, to check for spelling, grammar, and, and everything like that. If I want to change an image, um, I can click here. The image is saved to my desktop. I click here. Click over on collections. Um, albums, photos, you can kind of just add. One of the things I like to do whenever I'm doing a project like this, when I have pictures that I want to include, I kind of save them as my on the desktop and then I'll click on the image and just kind of drag it over and plop it in right there. So again, that, that's just a file, save as save it to the desktop and then drop and plop to go where you want it to go. Um, then if you have time you can mess around with the borders um, to give it give it a nice border, um, change the different the different um, text areas. Um, one one key to doing this I suggest is as you can see right here we have identified identify natural and human made features so I know that needs to be included so I might just use the control control C and that's copy do control C and then if I go back to the brochure and I know that that's something that I want to include in my brochure and I'm gonna come back to the brochure need to get this thing out of the way um, come back to my brochure here and I know that that's something I want to include so I'm just going to do a get rid of this I'm going to do a control control V let me post it so I know that here I need to include information about that okay another component that must be here is geographical elements such as landforms so control C as a copy and then I want to do that over on this page so I'm going to delete this and do control V and that's paste and then I want to include it there so one suggestion like I said is is that you could actually use this information as your headings and subheadings and include um, additional multiple using like I said three to four examples of each of these under each heading or subheading Okay. That's kind of all the information I want to give with you for this because I want I want you to be the creator of this. I want you to put it together nicely. Like I said, this final product is going to be shared with other fourth graders. So I really want us to take our time and, and produce a very nice brochure. Good luck and have fun.